Hello and welcome to the International Daily Roundup by People's Dispatch, where we bring you major news developments from around the world. Our headlines, ruling alliance wins big in Venezuela's National Assembly elections, countrywide strike to be held in India in support of the farmers' agitation, Social Democrats emerge as the largest party in Romanian elections and Kuwaiti opposition makes gains in parliamentary polls. The results of the election to the Venezuelan National Assembly were declared late on Sunday night. The Grand Patriotic Poll Alliance led by the United Socialist Party of Venezuela or the PSUV of President Nicolas Maduro has over 67% of the vote and will hold the majority in the National Assembly. The elections to the 277 member assembly were held on Sunday with over 14,000 candidates from 107 political parties taking part as many as 32% of the eligible voters participated. These elections were particularly important as since 2015, sections of the National Assembly had been at the forefront of attempts to challenge and oust the democratically elected government of Nicolas Maduro. These attempts culminated in a coup attempt again by Assembly Deputy Juan Guaido in 2019 who declared himself interim president. Guaido and sections of the far right wing in the country boycotted these elections claiming that they were fraudulent. Incidentally, the elections were held under the same rules with which the right wing won in 2015. These unverified claims of fraud have also been supported by Guaido's international backers such as the United States and Canada. In our next story, as India's farmers continue their protest on the outskirts of the capital New Delhi, opposition parties are set to observe a nationwide strike calling for the right wing government of Narendra Modi to heed the farmers' demands. Around a million farmers, mainly from the states neighbouring Delhi, who have been organised by over 30 groups, have been on an indefinite protest for the past 12 days. Farmers have put up blockades on major routes on Delhi's borders. The farmers are demanding the withdrawal of three laws that were passed recently. They fear that these laws will drive down the price they get for their produce and will allow for corporate takeover of agriculture. Multiple rounds of talks have been held, but the government has not been willing to accept the court demands of the farmers. Meanwhile, solidarity has been pouring in for the farmers from across the world. Major rallies were organised by the Indian diaspora outside Indian diplomatic missions in the US, UK, Australia, Canada and New Zealand. California and the US, London and the UK, Auckland and New Zealand, Halifax in Canada and major cities across Australia were some of the key locations that witnessed solidarity demonstrations over the weekend. We now go to Romania where the main opposition Social Democrats have, or the PSD has taken a narrow lead over the ruling National Liberal Party in the parliamentary elections held in Romania on Sunday. After the counting of around 99% of the votes, the PSD had secured over 30% of all votes against the NLP's 25%. While the PSD has lost a large share of its votes compared to its performance in the last elections in 2016, the results are a big relief for the party which has dominated the electoral scene in the country since the 1990s. In the 2016 elections, the PSD had won over 45% of the votes. It was removed from power in a no-confidence vote last year following massive demonstrations against alleged corruption in the government. The NLP then formed a three-party alliance and then formed the government under Prime Minister Ludovic Orban. The vote for the bicameral Romanian elections was held amid the COVID-19 outbreak, which had a massive impact on overall voter turnout. As per the official tally, just 33% of the electorate in the country excised their votes on Sunday, compared to nearly 40% in the last elections. The two chambers of the Romanian parliament are the Chamber of Deputies, 332 members, and the Senate with 137 members. The seats for both the chambers are decided on the basis of a national party list and proportional representation with a minimum threshold of 5% of popular votes. And finally, results for the parliamentary elections in Kuwait were also declared on Sunday by the Election Commission. The outcome indicates a mood for change in the country with the opposition candidates winning close to half the seats in the National Assembly. However, none of the 29 women of a total of 326 candidates running for the 50 seats managed to win a seat. The only woman MP since 2012, Safa al-Hashim, also lost her seat leading the next parliament to be an all-male affair. After the results of the elections were announced, the incumbent government submitted its resignation to the Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Nawaf al Ahmed al-Jabir al-Sabah. As many as 30 members are below the age of 45. Prominent groups that won include the Islamic Constitutional Movement, which has been linked to the Muslim Brotherhood, and also a Shia Muslim group. That's all we have time for today. We'll be back tomorrow with more news from across the world. Until then, keep watching People's Dispatch. Yeah, Avanza ya